bees come in all different sizes and colors. From golden yellows and browns to race car greens and blues, they fly around working incredibly hard, often unnoticed by the people around them. Even though we may not notice them, bees may be the most important agricultural workers we have. Bees provide pollination services for at least one third of the crops that humans eat every day. Apples, squash, watermelon, berries, and even chocolate wouldn't exist without the help of these busy girls. If bees are so important, why aren't we paying more attention to them? Unfortunately, our neglect comes in many forms. In order to feed the growing number of humans on the planet, monoculture, or growing large quantities of the same crop, is the most efficient way for farmers to produce food. While more convenient for humans, monocultures can completely disrupt food sources like pollen and nectar available to the surrounding native bee populations. Bees need different types of amino acids from a variety of pollen in addition to diverse nectar sources from car for carbohydrates. Without any plant diversity, bees cannot gain the nutrients they need to be healthy or sire healthy young. Farming requires the use of pesticides to keep harmful pest populations low. However, incorrect pesticide uses like not mixing according to the label or applying a spray too often can impact other species besides the targeted pests. Neonicotinoids are a common pesticide that can be absorbed by plants, thus penetrating pollen and nectar sources. When bees consume these contaminated food sources, they can have trouble with flight, navigation, and learning, all of which decreases foraging capabilities. Humans also need room to live, which can lead to the development of new land. While building homes can be great for a human family, we may disrupt hundreds of potential nesting sites for solitary bees. These bees depend on undisturbed places like soil, dead plant stems, logs, in addition to others, to make their homes. With less and less of this type of land, bees have nowhere to build a home for their future offspring. Lastly, industrialization brought forth great progress for humans, making many processes faster and making room for greater innovation. However, this progress has historically been fueled by fossil fuels, which have been releasing excess amounts of greenhouse gases into the environment not to mention many harmful byproducts. Just as these pollutants are not good for humans, they threaten bee health too. Air pollution can make it more difficult for bees to smell flowers while foraging, which can reduce pollination by about one third. While all of these factors spell out a dreary future, not all hope is lost. There are steps humans can take to help these bees. First, Plant native wildflowers at home and around agricultural areas to provide bees with an abundance of different food. Second, create bee watering fountains on hot, dry days. Bees need water and can use it to cool their hives during the summer. Third, provide habitats like bee houses for nesting solitary bees. This way you are supporting the next generation of solitary bees right in your backyard. Fourth, Support your local beekeepers. They are the ones doing a lot of hard work to keep these honeybees in your neighborhood and in your agricultural areas safe. And finally, vote to support bee-friendly environmental and agricultural policies for large-scale changes. While doing small things in our backyard every day may be accessible, voting for bigger changes can help in the future if we all stick together and take time to notice the little things like bees, we might just help create a better, more bee-friendly world for everyone.